Well, good morning, YouTube Loft is here. Something special for you today. This is a bit different. It's been going down the rounds. I believe it's down here in Penryn for three days and three days only. So if you want to see it, you get down here and have a look at it. This is the 2024 BMW R1300 GSA. It's not the auto, it's just the standard um, clutch model. So if you're interested in having a quick look at it, you stick around, I'll show it you. Okay then YouTube, this one's a bit special, it's got everything, it's got the absolute lot on it. But first of all, I just want to show you how big it is. It's got the adaptive ride height on, so this is in its lowest setting. As you can see, I'm six foot five, I can get on it, no problem at all. As soon as you get going, the ride height comes up. I'll give you a few stats about it in a sec, but this is the all bells and whistles, all singing, a really a uh, green mat with every single trinket on you can find. It's over 25 grand with no luggage. Anyway, show you a close up and show it you. I'll even put it on the center stand for you. Here we go. Not too bad. So there we go, head on. Does look big, wide, superb looking thing. Let's come round. I've got to say, in the flesh, it does look different. It's totally, totally different to what you think. Pannier rails look good, don't they? All cast. Drop the boxes on nice and easy. Superb. Let's come round. So there's the view from the cockpit. It's big and wide. I should imagine you get plenty of protection off that, uh, that bodywork. You ain't going to get wet, are you? Anyway, tell you a bit about it. I've got a few notes down here. I'm going to read a few notes to you. So this is the 2024 model, R1300 GSA. The one most people would be buying, I would imagine, would be the TE version. Um, basic red, in full TE spec, comes in at £20,300. So what is it? It's the 145 brake horsepower, 183 foot-pound uh, air, oil and water-cooled boxer twin. It's a beautiful piece of kit. We've got a 30 litre fuel tank. It weighs 269 kilos wet. Now I believe that's everything included, but it would be remains to be seen until somebody sticks it on the scales and has a bit of a weigh at it. The seat height in this model, it is 870 to 890. And with the adaptive height control, it drops it down a further view mill. So uh, Chris just got on it, uh, he's not the tallest of chaps and he could actually just tip it out the floor in its lowest height on this seat, so it's not bad. Uh, standard, he comes with ET grips, cruise control, TPM, keyless ignition and protectors, the additional headlight and uh, the DSA electronic suspension, which I believe works absolutely fabulous. Now the basic model comes in red, so you're talking a red TE, 20 grand, 300 pound. How about that? You can, um, spec one up yourself you can put the um, the pillion pack the comfort pack or whatever the dynamic the touring all the rest of it you can add them all on but this actual model has got everything i'll tell you the full spec so this actual bike if you wanted to buy this bike for 25 large as you know it's the r1300 gs adventure in aurelius green matte it's got the double silencer on acropovic the adaptive vehicle light the riding assistant the lightweight battery ordered, anti-theft alarm, top case carrier, Dina initial allocation, whatever that is, dynamic package, Opson 719 Caracorum, forged enduro wheels, comfort rider's seat, you name it, it's got it. Let's show you a close-up. We'll start down low, shall we? Look at them calipers. I'm not sure what model they are. They are absolutely huge. So coming out, we got the fog lights or daytime riding lights built into the sides this is all it's like a rubberized thing and you can put units on here so you can strap things to it we got the bars on the side we got the billet foot pegs we got the billet levers he's the acropovic beautiful looking acropovic coming around the other side 
Another big caliper. Look at that huge. Big dual piston job on the back. Here's all the 719 billets. Coming round. Of course, we've got the lights built into the handguards. Adjustable electronic screen. I've got to say, it does look a lot better in the flesh than it did in any of the photographs. And I do like this, I do like the colour. Got this little cubby over here, not very big, you're not going to get much of a phone in there. But you've got these mounting points again here. Mounting point again here. They've even done the old Triumph trick. The top case carrier actually moves side to side, so it doesn't affect the inertia of the bike. It's quite noisy in here today. There's a lot of people downstairs in the uh, car department, but I'm very pleased to get a look at it. So the question is, when's Lofty going to get to ride it? On all accounts, we'll have one in here by the end of October to ride, so we'll all be able to give it a bit of thrash and ride it around. I'm not sure whether it'll be the ASA version or the standard clutch version, but whichever one they have, it'll be worth riding, won't it? There you go, one last look. So, this is the Lofty Biker saying, ta for now. Shut up.